Inside those SUVs, FBI agents in their hands, a search warrant. Exactly what the feds were looking for when at the home of Rio Riva County Sheriff Tommy Rodella isn't clear. But we do know what the case involves. The sheriff detaining a 26-year-old man three months ago. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt is live at the Rio Riva County Sheriff's Office in Española with the story. Gabby. Jessica, late tonight, the sheriff's attorney sent a statement saying the sheriff did nothing wrong that day on a rural New Mexico road. The sheriff wouldn't talk to us on camera, but he did do an interview with a local radio station. The day after he lost the chance for re-election, the FBI served a search warrant in Rio Arriba County Sheriff Tommy Rodella's home. Hours later, the sheriff did a short interview with a local radio station. I just wanted to take a moment uh, first of all, to thank the uh, voters of Rio Reba County. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, serving as your sheriff for the last three and a half years. But the radio interviewer didn't ask him about the search. A sheriff spokesperson confirmed the warrant is related to the arrest of 26-year-old Michael Tafoya back in March. In court documents, Rodella claims Tafoya almost hit him while he and his son were driving on a county road. Rodella said when he told Tafoya he was the sheriff, Tafoya took off and almost hit him again. Rodella says he eventually detained the driver until deputies arrived and arrested Tafoya for aggravated assault on a peace officer and resisting. The charges were later dropped. It's unclear what the feds were searching for or what they found in Rodella's home. But we do know the U.S. Attorney's Office has subpoenaed the sheriff to appear next week before a grand jury looking into the case. Last year, the feds raided the sheriff's office after claims Rodella was taking donations to a scholarship fund in exchange for dismissing charges. In an earlier investigation, state police took files and computers from the sheriff's office as part of a probe into the handling of a deadly DWI case. Despite all this, the sheriff plans to stick around for a while. You still are the sheriff till uh, December? I'll continue being the sheriff till December 31st, and, and I'm proud uh, to have served as your sheriff. Now, in a statement tonight, Rodella questioned the timing of the new search because he'd been commenting about the former FBI investigation into the scholarship fund. Back to you. Okay, Gabrielle, when Rodella appears in front of a grand jury next week, the U.S. Attorney's Office asked that he bring case evidence, including any audio and video recordings from the arrest involving Tafoya.